Hello everyone. Uh, I just finished round four of the Croatian Cup and uh, I have to say I'm surprised by uh, how fast this game ended. I was playing against an opponent rated about 120 points higher than me uh, and uh, I didn't really know much about him. I, the last game uh, I found in, in the database he played was from 2009 so I wasn't sure whether his games weren't uploaded online or whether he hasn't been playing at all. Anyway, uh, my team was playing playing against Belišče, a lower rated team on all uh, on the first three boards, except on mine, of course. And uh, I got the chance to play again. And uh, of course, I played e4. My opponent played c5. Even though the games I found, he mostly played e5 and would enter the Philidor or the Hungarian defense, so I mostly prepared for that. But I I generally know what to do against the Sicilian. I have two setups which I play. So I played knight to f3, the open Sicilian, knight c6, d4, cd4, knight d4, he played g6. And here I always play the Maroxi bind uh, with c4. I, I think this is the best uh, the best way for white to play. He played bishop to g7, bishop to e3, those are all standard moves. Queen to a5 is a mistake, it doesn't really make any sense. The queen is only a, a liability on, on a5. It is played in some other variations, but not in this one. So knight to c3. And now he made the losing move on, on move 7 and... Uh, after this move, the game is just lost. He played e6, and uh, I almost aut automatically uh, played queen to d2, which is a good move also, I think. I haven't engine checked the game, but uh, I, I, of course, know about the plan of playing knight to b5 in many Sicilians, and in this one it actually works immediately, and I, it took me about two minutes to calculate all the variations. And I play knight to b, played knight to b5, and I think that black is just losing here on, on move 7, move 8. And there's absolutely nothing he can do. Uh, he has two options. One is to allow a check and then to just be uh, worse. Because, of course, if he plays queen to c, uh, queen to queen to d8 or something, uh, some other move than bishop takes, uh, bishop, take knight, bishop takes knight, then I have a check. And if he gives up the bishop as he did in the game, then his game is just losing. There's nothing he can do. These weaknesses are just uh, too much for him to be holding this. I'm I actually anxious to see what the engine will say, but I think this is about plus one and a half or plus three even, I, I'm not sure. So at this point I knew I was going to win and uh, I don't know how he could have played e6, perhaps he, he wasn't familiar with the position, but this is just lost now. So he tried knight g to e7, uh, queen to d2. I want to finish my development first. Castles, bishop e2, a6, a bit too late. Castles, queen to c7, and this now has to be lost. And uh, I had, I was thinking uh, about three moves. Uh, one move was bishop to c5, and then I'm threatening to play bishop to d6. Uh, and there's pretty much nothing, uh, nothing he can do to stop me. Uh, and, oh, I'm sorry, first I played rook a to d1. I wanted to finish development, and rook to b8. And now I was... Uh, trying to I was uh, considering to move bishop to c5 when I'm winning the exchange and there isn't really a way for him to stop that and uh, I think his best try would be queen to a5 but then I would have b4 this was my calculation so let's say bishop uh, bishop here of course if he tries to discover attack my bishop then simply bishop d6 wins a rook so I think his best move uh, was queen to a5 but then b4 and no well, actually b4 isn't that good uh, wait but I can play Okay, yeah, that's why I didn't play it. I, I wasn't sure. But uh, the second move I was looking at uh, was just winning immediately. And uh, I saw that I could e either checkmate or win a lot of material with the move bishop to f4. And uh, after bishop to f4, he has two options, really. If he doesn't want to lose the exchange, one is to play e5, one is to play knight to e5. And if he played knight to e5, actually, whichever move he chose, I was going to play the same thing, bishop h6. This was just a tempo move to... to prevent his pieces from entering the defense and uh, I wanted to provoke either knight to e5 or e5 to make it harder for him to defend. He chose e5 and now bishop h6, rook e8, queen to g5 and this is just over now. Uh, he can still defend the checkmate but uh, the position is uh, too uncomfortable. I have the I have the d5 square, d5 pawn will drop inevitably, the knight is loose and there isn't really much he can do. He found one of the only defenses, knight to d8, now queen to f6, he has knight to e6, defending checkmate. And now I was considering knight to d5 or bishop to g4 just immediately. Uh, I thought both both were immediately winning, but 
after the game I was, I was thinking and I think bishop to g4 was faster I'm wondering what the angel will say because if I play bishop to g4 there really isn't much he can do to stop me uh, from taking this knight and then I checkmate here I wasn't sure what he can do but uh, I played knight to d5 which I thought was uh, nicer and of course uh, I was planning to I was provoking him to play queen to d8 and I was going to take on e5 which seemed simpler to me and of course if he takes uh, then c takes and he's losing the knight anyway so i thought it was, this was you know, pretty much uh, as good as bishop to g4 but we will see so to this he played queen to d8 i took on e5 queen takes e5 now of course i'm attacking the rook and uh, i'm threatening this check which is just over i'm going to win everything if i manage to to check to check here and uh, he took on d5 now of course i didn't take the rook this would be okay materially winning but i think cd5 was much stronger because i'm threatening to take the rook anyway so here he played d6 but it doesn't really work i calculated queen to c3 queen h4 uh, e, uh, d takes c queen takes bishop and after he takes f7 then i'm winning and that's exactly what happened he played d6 i played queen to c3 queen to h4 and now d6 Queen takes bishop, but the problem is that after e takes f7, I either win the e rook or the b rook, and he took with the, with the king, and now queen to c7 is simply winning material, and uh, this was just busted. So I, I, I actually thought I had a checkmate somewhere around here, and I think that the move bishop to g4 would have led to a faster mate. Let's just find the defense for him. Uh, okay, what does he do actually? Yeah, there's actually no defense to this. No, I should have played bishop to g4. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think there's a defense to this. I'm not sure the engine will say. But okay, let me show you how the game finished. So this is... Uh, this position occurred. Uh, he played this. I took here and... The rest is just uh, a technicality, I would say. Uh, here after f6 he resigned of course he can take my bishop but then queen takes rook and i'm winning uh so let's go back uh, let's go back to this position wait where is knight e5 okay knight e5 okay queen to f6 knight to e6 this was i think i played the best move does best moves thus far and now let's turn on the engine okay uh knight to d5 isn't even mentioned okay it's still plus six but okay Okay, let's go. Okay, bishop to g4. What does it say is the best move? It says knight to f5. Okay, knight to f5. E takes f5. Queen to d8. Knight d4. Queen f6. Knight f6. Yeah, okay. It's a simpler way, way to win knight xc. Okay, yeah, this is just better. I should have played bishop to g4, but I don't think knight to d5 was the, I mean it's still plus, plus 6, uh, queen to d8, queen e5 was the best move, knight takes d5 was the best move, c d5 was the best move, d6 was the best move, queen c3, yeah, I calculated correctly. So yeah, I, I'm not actually sure, um, I wouldn't like to sound um, insulting, but I, I don't think he played uh, as if he was rating, rated 1900. I don't know why, perhaps he didn't know the variation, but uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not happy uh, that I played knight to d5, I should have found bishop to g4. I mean, I did find it, but I thought they were equally good, which is absurd. Bishop to g4 just wins two pieces instead of one. But okay, still I think uh, it was a nice game. Uh, if you play the black side of this, if you play the black side of the accelerated dragon, you should be prepared for c4. I think this was my opponent's main mistake that he didn't know the opening. Here, never play queen to a5, uh, queen to a5 check. This is just nothing. E6 is immediately losing because you have to prevent him from from coming into b5, and e6 is just losing the game. And let's see, e6. Yeah, this is plus two immediately. Okay, knight to b5 is the best move. Bishop c3. Uh, it's the best, but still losing. Plus two for white. Yeah, th this is immediately lost. This is move eight. So. If you play the black side of this, uh, learn it. If you play the white, uh, if you play d4, uh, if you play e4 against the Sicilian, then remember this line in c4 against the accelerated dragon. You might win some easy games such as this one. Uh, okay, everybody. Uh, on board one, uh, our uh, international master Leon Levaich, his opponent didn't show up, so we are two points ahead now. 
it's played on four boards so we are 2-0 at the moment boards two and three are still playing and let's let's hope we can win the match uh, thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for more chess bye